then so following my last video on basic expansion of brackets I'm now just going to show you how to factorize into single brackets so when I say factorize I just mean putting into brackets and putting into brackets means we have to take out something called the highest common factor so maybe that sounds a bit confusing highest common factor all that means is we need to take out a number that's common in 4 and 12. A number that fits exactly into 4 and exactly into 12. Well, I know they're both divisible by 2, so I know 2 fits into them. But I need to take out the biggest number possible. So in this case, it would be 4. 4 is the highest common factor because it's the biggest number that fits exactly into 4 and exactly into 12. So I'm going to write that down. Now that I've written down everything that's common between 4x and 12, I can open my set of brackets. And now I need to work out what goes inside. So remember, when I see brackets, it means multiply. So you're, you're asking yourself, what do you multiply 4 by in order to get back to 4x? Well, it must be x, because 4 times x is 4x. Okay, now I can see there's a plus here, so I'm going to put my plus in there as well. And again, we ask ourselves, what do I multiply 4 by in order to get back to positive 12? Well, it's just positive 3. We've already got my plus sign, so I know it's positive. So, that's done. But just do a little check in your head, just to make sure you've done it properly. So multiply out this bracket in your head, just to make sure it gives you what you started with. So 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 3 is 12, just to make sure you've done it properly. Okay, same thing in the next example. So we're looking for the highest common factor, that's sometimes written as HCF. So what's the biggest number that fits exactly into 6 and exactly into 9? Well, if you're good at your times tables, it should be quite easy to find the highest common factor. Otherwise, you might just have to test a few different numbers. So in this one, it's straightforward because there are not many factors in 6. You've got 1, 2, 3 and 6. And the biggest one that fits into 9 is 3. Okay, now, open your set of brackets because we've taken out everything that's common in those two terms. Now, what do you multiply 3 by to get back to 6? 2. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6. Now, this time, it's not plus, it's minus. And what do you multiply 3 by to get back to 9y? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, so I'm going to put in my 3. And then I need to make sure I've got a y in there as well, because 3 multiplied by 3y is 9y. Okay, and we've got our minus there, so that one's finished as well. Now, example number three. What's the highest common factor in 18 and 21? So, sometimes I say to my students, what times table do you recognise these numbers from? Well, I recognise these numbers from the three times table, and it is actually the highest common factor in this case. So, three is the highest common factor in 18 and 21. It's the biggest number that fits exactly into both of these. So, write down the number three. In this one, there's also a letter that's common. You can see there's a Y in this term, and there's also a Y in this term. So you need to write that down too. You need to take out everything that's common between these. And once you've done that, only once you've done that, can you open up your brackets. Now, the same as before. What do you multiply 3Y by to get back to here, 18XY? Well, 3 multiplied by 6 is 18, so I'm going to put my 6 in. I've got a y here, so that y is covered, but I also need an x, so I need to put the x in here too. So 3y times 6x gives me 18xy, okay? y times x is just the same as xy. The order of the letters is not important. Normally we write them in alphabetical order, that's why I've written xy here instead of yx, but it doesn't matter if it's the other way around. So then, put my plus in because I know this is going to be positive. What do you times 3y by to get back to 21y? Well, it's just 7. I've already got the y here, so I don't need to add a y in. It's just 3y times 7 is 21y. Okay, and the next one. What's the highest common factor in 24 and 32? Well, 2 is a factor, 
but it's not the biggest one. Four is also a factor, but that isn't the biggest one either. It's actually eight, okay? It's the highest factor, the highest number that fits exactly into both 24 and 32. Now, there's also a common letter, X. You've got an X here and an X here. So, I'm going to write down my common letter. Now, open the brackets. What do you multiply 8x by to get back to 24x squared? Well, 8 multiplied by 3 gives me the 24. And x multiplied by x will give me x squared. So, I need to write in an x. Okay? Now, watch out for the minus sign. What do you multiply 8x by to get back to 32x? Just 4. We've already got the x, so 8x multiplied by negative 4 takes me back to minus 32x. And the last one. So, it looks a bit harder, but it really isn't. We've still got one single set of brackets in this question. This time, we need to see what's common in all of these. So in each of these, it has to have a common factor or a common letter. So the common factor in 6, 9 and 12, well, in this one, it's 3. 3 is the only factor that fits exactly into 6, 9 and 12, apart from 1. But we need the highest one, which is 3. Now, there's also a common letter. Z is in each of these as well. So I'm going to write down Z2. Now that I've taken out everything that's common, I can open up my brackets and then what do you multiply 3z by to get back to here? So 6xyz. Well, 3 multiplied by 2 gives you the 6. Remember, you've got the z here, but we're missing x and y. So you need to put in x and y. Now I'm going to put in my plus sign. What do you multiply 3z by to get back to 9yz? Well, I've got my z, remember, already, so I need to add in 3y, okay? Because 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, and z multiplied by y is yz. And the last part, so put in the minus. What do you multiply 3z by to get back to 12z? 4. 3z multiplied by minus 4 is minus 12z. Okay, so there is just some basic factorising. I will have some harder videos when we're factorising into double set of brackets, uh, but there are some examples just to get you started. Okay, bye-bye.